I can't actually imagine anyone who would like specifically look for this kind of information. But here we are anyways. <laughs> Playing Rocket League on Linux. Now, why would you ever do that? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you belong to the like 2% of people who actually use Linux and within those 2% to the 20% who play games on it and within those 20% to the maybe 10% who play Rocket League on it. Okay, so it's clear that this video won't be for almost anyone, but with Epic Games dumping Mac and Linux support when they went free to play, I can imagine there's a chunk of Linux players who were really annoyed by that move, to say the least. However, getting the Steam version of Rocket League to run on Linux, and many other games in fact, is very easy nowadays and can be done without touching the terminal even once. So, for this video I will assume that if you're an average user or gamer, you're using either Ubuntu, PopOS or a similar Debian-based Linux distro. If you use another one, you probably know at least how to get Steam installed and running. For the sake of showing something right now, I will have the PopOS installation on screen right now, which is running on a virtual machine. Once your system is ready, open up whatever application store came with your distro, check for any updates and then search for Steam. If you can't find Steam, you will probably find the Steam installer, which is basically the same thing, just install that one instead. I think Ubuntu actually only lists the Steam installer. When you launch Steam, it will do the usual, it updates like a thousand times and then finally you can log in. After that, you will want to go to Steam, Settings and finally Steam Play. Here we will enable Steam Play for all the titles and select the latest Proton version. Steam will restart. Open your library and enable the tools listing on the top left. Search for Proton and install both the latest version and Proton 5.0. As you can see there are many Proton versions, usually you'll want to just use the latest one, but for some reason Rocket League doesn't work for me with the latest version at the time of this video. For this reason we will install version 5.0 and use it with Rocket League. Once installed, disable the tools listing and download Rocket League like you usually would. The version it downloads is actually useless though, it's the March update from 2020 and the only thing that works is local matches and free play. It is basically the last Linux version of the game that Psyonix made. To get it working we will right click Rocket League, go to properties and compatibility. Here we will force the use of Proton 5.0. When you close the window, you will see multiple downloads appearing, including the latest version of Rocket League. Okay, so now we downloaded everything and we can launch Rocket League. Quick side note before I go into the gameplay, you can launch Rocket League with your applications menu or Steam, but your desktop icon will likely be useless. To get it working, just right click it and click allow launching. Now sadly games don't open in virtual machines and I can't install Linux on my main desktop, but what I have done is doing the exact same installation on my laptop, even though my laptop isn't really great for gaming. So, we'll open up Rocket League on my laptop, which is already running for some reason. Wait. Right. I launch Rocket League as I usually do. And as you can see, it just works. Now performance is about the same as on Windows, the reason the footage is so laggy right now is because my laptop is just too weak for recording, but what should be important for you is the FPS counter on the top right. Performance is quite good for a weak laptop like the one I have. So that's everything you need to get the Steam version of Rocket League running on Linux. I probably won't make another Linux video, it's just not what Rocket League players are interested in. I may consider doing a video for the Epic Games version of Rocket League if enough people want that, but I doubt it. And well, 
Thanks for watching. Peace.